Hello guys, today I'm going to go through with you how I tie the blowback rig, which is personally my favourite bottom bait rig. So firstly, these are the things that you're going to need to tie the rig. Right, so the components that you're going to need to tie the blowback rig are as follows. You're going to need some sort of line. This is £12 uh, monofilament, uh, but fluorocarbon works just as well. Uh, you're going to want some swivels. This one here is a size 10 ESP swivel. Then you're going to want, I always use a anti-tangle sleeve on all of my rigs. And then you've got, I believe, a 0.75 section of silicone tubing. And I'm using for this rig size 6 curved shank hooks. Right, so the first step of tying the blowback rig is you want to grab yourself about 12 to 15 inches of monofilament. This way you've got a little bit extra that if you do tie a knot wrong, you've got a little bit to play with just to cut it off and uh, retie. Um, secondly, you want to make just a little loop knot, like so. And this will create your hair for the rig, your hair loop. That's nice and tight. Trim off the tag. There we go. Like so. And then the next thing you're going to grab is the little silicone tubing. You want to take off probably about a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch will be plenty. And then you're going to take that that you've just trimmed off and thread down the line towards the loop. There we go, like so, and then you're going to take your hook and you're going to thread the point down towards the loop, like so, and then twist that around the bend. So effectively what you've got is you've got the loop facing away from the bend of the hook, from the point, that's how you want it, and then you're going to take the end of your line and thread that through the back of the eye of the hook like so so your line should be coming out the front of the eye and the next stage is to tie your knotless knot so you want to go around once twice three times four times five times six times seven eight I like to do eight times some people like to do less some people like to do more and then thread the end of your line back through the back of the hook and that way the line's going through the front like so and that's the stage we're at and then you want to take your anti-tangle sleeve and thread the thinnest end on first like so probably the most important part of my rigs uh, recently I don't think I tie a rig without an anti angle sleeve now to be honest. Right and at this stage I will trim it down to a relatively decent size to what I want it. I, I usually trim it down to about eight, eight or nine inches now. There we go. And then I'll take the swivel and tie it on like so. And this time I'm using a blood knot. Two, three, or five wraps around the line back through the loop that you've just created and then through that upper loop just to give it more more security wet the knot and then slide the knot down towards the swivel like so tighten that up Lovely jubbly, tag off your little tag end, leave a couple of mil on there just in case for any slippages. And there you have it, a perfect example of a blowback rig. Well thank you very much for watching guys, please like the video and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Until the next time.